What is up guys, it's Sobash, welcome back, and we are playing a new game. It is in beta right now, it's closed, but you can sign up for it. I'll leave a link in the description below that you can sign up. Hopefully you'll be able to get it, because this is an awesome game. This is called Armajet. It's a mobile arena shooter. Really fun, uh, it's got a lot of different game modes. You have like team deathmatch, free for all, capture the flag, shield rush. Those are just a couple. You also have other things, um, of course, the weapons. You get different weapons, you can use different ones. You have stuff like machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, flamethrowers, lightning, thunderstorm dudes. It's, it's crazy, the amount of different weapons they already have in the game. The store, we're gonna get to this in a minute because I did test it last month and they gave me some Paragon, which will allow me to open one of the largest packs that they have, the 40 pack and the profile. Basically you can, keep track of everything you have on this game rounds wins losses i got one tie i don't know how your kills assists deaths how long you've been playing it's just insane the amount of information that they give to you uh daily you get challenges now every couple hours the first one i believe should reset but you're gonna get different challenges for different weapons as well so for instance, uh, Black Tusk, uh, get a thousand kills with it. That's the next one I'm gonna be working on. I'm at 863 out of a thousand with it. Uh, it's probably my most favorite weapon right now. It's the one you really start out with, and I've, I guess I just got so good with that one. They also have clans. Now, it does look like a lot of ESL teams are trying to start on here. So when this game comes out, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes. And let's go ahead and open this pack real quick and then we'll get into some gameplay. I'm not sure what's gonna come out of here. Six rares and two epics. Hopefully this is good. Locust, nice. Enforcer times two. Havoc times eight, that is a rare weapon. Wildfire, epic, that is the flamethrower. All right, that's cool. And also the cool thing is you can switch weapons mid game. Widow blade stock. That is a weapon. I've not seen that one yet. That's pretty awesome. We got a lot of awesome stuff right there. And to check it out, you can go here. Uh, you see, there are still some I don't have. Green and blue and red. Uh, there's a lot of different ones. So there's limited amounts of weapons that you're gonna be able to get. Also, you have secondaries. Uh, which currently I'm still using the frag grenade because uh, actually the widow blade was the secondary so that's pretty cool uh, you have incendiary grenades and quite a few others and you also have perks which uh, exo modules which you start out with sentry gun airstrike and personal drone uh, I like the personal drone because it kind of follows you around and shoots people when they're close to you so that's pretty useful but let's jump into some gameplay enough talking about it let's uh, go into a team deathmatch and it sometimes will jump you straight into a match and it looks like it has seven to eight so we're just going to join in this game i'm going to grab my black tusk and let's check this out all right you go up you have a jetpack on so you're able to fly around and that right there that is a lifesaver hopefully all right there's my grenade try to stay away from some of these guys let me get my health back you do regenerate health we got one kill right there and you can shoot all kinds of different ways I'm trying to stay up on this little ledge so I can regain my health back there are little spots you can find little nooks and crannies where you can sit and uh, get your health back so it's really cool so let's get over here I like kind of holding back a little bit being I don't know I guess you would call it support maybe um because i do take a lot of fire and let's see this guy's got double damage on let's try to catch him with the grenade oh missed that zero dude just barely got him killed though all right 19 to 14. let's get in here oh watch out for the dude the shotgun's quite annoying because just a couple hits they'll kill you with a double kill right here all right we've already got this guy right here that's my drone and check him out He's gonna shoot anybody that comes near me. And uh, this is not really my favorite map. I would say my favorite map is probably, oh, we just barely missed him. We just barely missed him. All right, that shotgun does bounce stuff off the wall. 
So I'm going to get back a little bit and try to stay away from these guys. All right, this APV guy. He saw my drone and he turned around and ran. We're winning 25 to 17. Now with this team deathmatch, the first of 40 wins. So you get 40 kills and the matches only last four minutes. So it's a very fast paced game, super fast. I tried to click on my, oh, we just missed it. I tried to click on my uh, grenade and throw it out while moving and I didn't, I kind of missed it there. Let's see if we can't find somebody. Whoa, all right, he's got a sniper, so we definitely need to get back. We're gonna die. This dude's probably gonna catch me with his lightning. Oh, he didn't. All right, I'm gonna support some of these guys. I don't like rushing in. It's kind of not very strategic. Uh, kind of play them out, kite them a little bit. Draw them into you, that way you can damage them while you're moving back and just murk them. I mean, I don't, I don't really see any sense rushing in. I mean, if you got shotguns or something that's gonna do massive damage or kill somebody in one hit, I could see that. But you see that, uh, that shield's right there. It does give you an extra bit, but it can be taken down quite quickly. And uh, actually not a very bad team. All right, we got that kill right there. Is that six times? I believe that's six kills. And oh, we just barely missed him with that. We just barely missed him with that. All right, we're getting hit from the top. And this is probably where we're going to die. Yep. He caught me with a black tusk. And you can instantly respawn. Like I said, you can change weapons. Uh, next time I die, well, game's over, four minutes. We'll jump into another one real quick because that was kind of short. Only four minutes, six kills, one death, three assists. You get experience every time you do this. You do level up, you get gold for it. Like I said, doing these extras, you get stuff for it as well. You do stay in queue for the next round as well. You can vote Volcano. That is my favorite map currently. And you can see the summary of your last thing and the scoreboard. Uh, 13 and 9, 8 and 7, 6 and 1, 11 and 5. And these other guys, they didn't fare too well. And bounties. Bounties is what you're going to get a big chunk of gold from. And basically what the gold is used for is you click right there on that and you can buy these. See, this is what I just bought a while ago with uh, the Paragon. But you can buy a five pack with gold. So that's what you're going to be using tap at the top to start now all of these at the bottom you can select any of these you can put any five weapons you want together with whatever perks whatever anything you want and all right we got a kill right there with the grenade i'm gonna back off get some health back you can see the blood around the edges of the screen and i'm gonna show you why this is my favorite map all right because basically right here you can funnel people in get an assist and just kind of, there we go, there we go. All right, just kind of taking it easy. Not really jumping in too, too much. And let's see if we can't get somebody in. No, okay, we did, we got him, we got him, we got him. I missed him with that grenade though. And uh, the nice thing about this one, a uh, double damage, it spawns like right here. So if I'm hanging on this side, which is what I prefer, I'm gonna stay right there because that double damage comes up and I currently do like 12 damage with my black tusk. And this guy's annoying. I hate those electric guns. It's like no skill. All you do is just get close to them and it really connects to you. That's probably my least favorite gun out of the whole game. It really takes no skill to use it. Now let's see if we can't get him. Yes, we did. All right, he is gonna be dead. Yes, all right, now we have our drone and it's on. And bad thing about the drone is if you die, you lose your drone. So you're gonna wanna kinda be careful. I jumped up there to let my drone go up there and he will continue to attack as well. I'm kinda throwing spray out on him. Oh goodness, let's get back away from him. All right, we killed him. Oh, we got caught out of nowhere. That guy was probably just spamming stuff. He went down there and picked up the uh, double, double damage and Another bad thing is those grenades, like the one I just threw, they can hit other people like on your team. I don't really know if they do a whole lot of damage to your teammates, but it's quite annoying when that happens. Oh, I got stuck by a grenade. Uh, it's unfortunate. All right, let's jump back into it. It's uh, they're, they're trying to hold out pretty well. Nice thing about it is you, you saw that was like random teams, right? So I had what? Uh, four guys 
on my team last time and it's not gonna be the same four if you stay in the same queue i'm dead right here i'm dead if you stay in the same queue it'll alternate the teams back and forth so it'll kind of randomize it to try to make it fair uh but so far um it seems like you are able to get different weapons and some weapons do seem a little bit more powerful than others depending on your style of play like that single shot thing right there oh we got we caught him with that grenade that was very lucky this is my most favorite map and this is the first time I have played in a couple of weeks uh, so I am a good bit rusty uh, but yes this is a very fun game I'm excited for this I'm ready for it to come out completely to everybody but like I said you can sign up for the beta I know Android's gonna have a lot of spots open probably but iOS is probably gonna be on the more limited side because of test flight can we catch one of them we did oh it only did 99 damage so we needed one more hit. I'm assuming people only have about 100 hit points. That's my assumption. I don't honestly know for sure about that yet. Uh, this guy's gonna die. Oh, do you see that grenade it went straight through that dude? It went straight through him. That's a very bad thing that I've seen happen with this game lately. I went 11 and seven. Uh, teammates, they didn't fare too well. They died a lot. Uh, that's what happens when you rush in don't rush in if you play it safe you can actually just take it out we get completed a bounty 799 gold so a couple more games and i'd be able to open up a chest uh it's a really nice thing about this thing and next round it'll automatically start it in about 40 seconds but you can back out of it and quit but this is a really fun game guys uh hopefully it will be out very soon uh, i'm assuming we did unlock some other stuff yeah it's telling me some other stuff that i did unlock uh, that's the only other thing that's kind of iffy to me about it is, I mean, you have to go in here and click on these things to make that go away. And my biggest pet peeve about this is this part right here. Let me find it. All right, this part right here in the profile. All right, you have a badge, this little thing right here, the little heart, YouTube, of course. All right, you can click edit badge and there are tons of them. And when I say tons, there are I, I can't tell you how many of them they're, they're loading so slow but there are a lot of them and every time you get a badge it says new on it and you have to click on the actual badge to make it say not new and then you have to switch back to the one you want that's my, that's my only pet peeve about this game I think that needs to be fixed badges if you get a new one if you come to this page I think it should just disappear saying new you shouldn't have to click on it because it's annoying to have to switch them back and forth and I don't like notifications or things like that sitting there saying hey you got something there all right well guys if you have any questions about this game like i said i will leave a link in the description below to the website where you can sign up for the beta for this game it's a really awesome game i uh, thank you guys so much for watching like i said if you have any questions leave them in the comments below as always guys like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day You're ready.